Hey everybody, it's me Arjun. Today, we're fixing a BS trailer. You know what that is. Okay, so we are replacing a trailer hub. You could just do the bearing. I did the whole hub just to be safe because it was only 46 hours of the hub. But when I got there, they gave me the wrong bearing. I'm gonna show you why it's so important. So this bearing fits into that hub because this is an LM67048, it's the wrong one. We needed an L68149. So what they both have, if you look, is the same outer diameter, but they do not have the same inner diameter. I don't know if you can tell that way, but if you can tell that way, do you see the in? Mm -hmm. You can tell in the picture? A little bit, yeah. See it? Yeah. Okay. What you do is like this, look, see? That's the same side, the same side. See how the one's inside just mm -hmm. a little? So their inner diameter is different. You can see it here. This is the wrong one. See how this part is thick? Mm -hmm. You see how thick that is? See, it's a little thinner. Yeah. Okay, guys. So that's what you're gonna have difference. Depending that's what, what she is. said. I believe this is on a 2,000 pound axle usually. I think I have the 3,500 pound like beefed up axles. I don't remember. I think I had this problem before years ago. Didn't know. So hopefully. One of those parts I just told you can help. I'll put both of them in the part links below. Luckily, we got that the bearing that was ripped off still had the inner part of the bearing. The number. And it was, well, that was still here on the rim. Yeah. And it was somewhat readable. The cuts were not from the damage. I cut those to get it to loosen. All right. So what we're going to have to do here is there's another sign. And if you're wanting to know signs of how do you know your bearing's going bad or whatever, see this grease? That is because it was going and the bearing had given, so all that grease was throwing as you're driving. But I heard it when backing up and it kind of went eh, and then I looked at it and it was kind of leaning as I moved, but then it straightened out because it wasn't that bad yet. Um, so the leaning isn't always a good indication because of the fact that I was reversing. And when you reverse on a dual axle, they lean and turn depending on where you are because they don't have the ability to flex and turn the wheel. There's just a straight axle. So we're going to replace them here today. First thing you'll need is this handy dandy notebook right here. Okay, so you're gonna put this bearing in. Uh, is that the inner one or the outer one? the inner one? bearing. Um, usually I pack them in a grease, but I do not have one. I actually should have got one. I said that I made a video before. I was at O'Reilly, I should have got it. But their computer system went down and I had to pay in cash and I had to write the ticket by hand. I felt like I lived in 1962 again. Whatever. You never lived in 1962. I know, exactly. It was horrible. So what we're gonna do here is <laughs> I'm going to grease it the Hoosier way, okay? It works. I still have the grease here, okay? Much easier than... It's actually less messy this way anyway, okay? Get the pump towels out here. All right? Put pump grease into that grease. Fitting. There's a grease fitting here, which is there. You have to do it after it's on. And there's how the grease fitting here, the grease comes out there to get this back bearing. So what we're going to do is... We're not going to do that. You know why? Because I'm dumb. Guess why? Put that on the this is the seal that keeps all that grease in. It looks like I'm gonna need my rubber mallet. Will you go grab me a rubber mallet? Back on? Mm -hmm. So hopefully you get lucky like I did for once. I usually don't, because what could happen is you might've found this out after your wheel decided to pass you on the interstate or wherever you are. That hurts. I don't want to do that. My leg does not like the beating. So. I was hoping this was big enough. I might have to get a wooden block for even pressure because what's happening is that. Well, it's definitely this way. You can see that. Okay, so here's the problem. There we go. I just got it right. Nope. All right, we're going to have to get a block of wood and use the block of wood because this mallet isn't. It's, it's big enough, but it's not. And I'm not getting. Perfect hit, see? So, yeah, that's what we're gonna have to do. Um, we'll back in one second again, okay? Okay. Got it? Mm -hmm. See that? And that's because it's even pressed here. Do you see that, guys? Just, boom, seals in. Before I start that, just because there is a little tear up, I'm gonna take this a little bit. that happened from the other bearing as it was spinning and it was ripped up. I'm hoping that's going to be enough. It may not be. I'm going to make it work. That's 
what we do. It's America. Okay? Give me a coat hanger. Give me a rubber tire. Some Vaseline and aluminum foil. And I'm gonna make you a microwave. Okay? Yeah, yeah. This is America. Okay, so here we go. We got that one. Where'd I put the other bearing at? I just had it in my hand. It's not up there, is it? I don't know. Hey, y'all watching at home. Where'd I put it? Okay. All right, everybody. So you know I couldn't find it. It went right there under that. Some dim dims. So I'm going to pull this out here, even though we do got the grease fittings. Yeah, I got the grease fitting. We should be good. We should be able to pack it pretty good. Let's see what happens here real quick. Is it far enough back on no. there? No. Mm -hmm. Can you see the hole still? I don't know. Okay, so you gotta take that. And this is gonna be the difficult part. I gotta get this to, I'm gonna use this board for the same thing. And kinda help get this axle set a little better. Or this hub. Did it go in a little? It did not, did it? Really? So, what I need is this to settle in there. Yeah, it did. Okay. See it? Yep. So I need this to settle in just enough. I can get this guy on here. Oh my god, it's still been sitting here. I didn't think about leaving that there while we were going. Yeah, uh, there's a show them here. On most of the trail axles, they're like that. I got a flat yeah, side. Flat side. So if you take it off and like, oh my god, my axles, all the threads are worn off. They're not. That's just what this is what it do. Okay, so we're gonna have to go get me a socket. <laughs> uh, Mostly. Blesses. Okay. Usually I use the crescent, but this doesn't stick in enough. I think I need to get a socket and get in there, but the socket ain't gonna fit either. All right, we're gonna pause that. I'm gonna go get the socket and my crescent wrench. See which one works. Okay, so I'm using the one and a half right here. I'll probably have to pull this off and put a spacer in there. Cause I gotta get this to push itself in and it may not stay enough in. I'm thinking it'll stay right like that the whole time gotta press itself back there. It's working. I think we're exactly enough that we're gonna get it with this guy. Oh and it's just you know, yours may not be the same, mine end up being the one and a half. Um, but I'm just gonna use the crescent because it's not a six point it's a twelve. Sometimes those will round things off. in there tight. Um, that might work better on it. Give my second. Good lord, that's a big boy. Huh? That's bigger than my impact. I'm gonna have to go get my adapter for my to three-fourths drive, big boy. Do you want it to turn? It don't matter. It's forcing it oh, down. Okay. The, the actual axis thing, this is not turning. Okay. You get it? Yeah. This is the hub. This oh. is what actually spins when your tire goes. Yeah. It. means I'm getting it pressed now. It's, it's gone past where it couldn't fit and now it is. Mm -hmm. I could possibly slap that on now, but this way it's working good. Okay. As you see, it's a little over tight now. So we're going to freeze it, see what happens. I'm going to have to back that off some. Uh, is nothing in there? Okay, here, can you do this or no? You got it. Is it going? Yeah. Can you? Does it feel like it's going? I mean, it feels like it's bumping, but I don't know. Can't tell. There's gonna be a lot of grease in here. Axle shaft. Yeah, it's gonna use a lot. See anything in the back for me or no? No, I don't see anything yet. It's gonna come out somewhere. I imagine it's gonna come out the front bearing.
Can you disarm or hold that down with your foot or something? It stops. Hold your foot right there. don't have a greased bearing that can or a greased axle where you can do this you will have to pack these bearings in grease before you shove them in there it's quite it's just gonna take a lot yep there it goes right now okay come here and show see yep so now watch there we go okay you still feel like you need to it's tight back it off a little no i'm gonna leave it just like that with the bearings, they're brand new. With the grease, it should start with the tire and the trailer's weight. There's no way I put this on more torque setting than what you're supposed to have because I'm just barely using. I'm not like really narrowing it. Yes, you feel like it should go more, but we can't. Yeah, I know. So we are going to lift this. Also, sometimes, come here. Sometimes you have a like a seek type clamp, like a clamp that goes over this, to clips onto there and it holds that so it can't back itself off. But if it wants to, it backs off right through it. And everything away, so it's not that important. All right, everybody, so that's it. Oh, let me show you for it lower, see? Even with it all feeling tight and it's got a tire, it's not tight. Get it all breathed. Get it all set up. There. I'll do a little bit with the impact, and then I'm going to double check the tightness with my four-way. 21s. Okay, so we're going to crisscross applesauce. There we go. We're good. So, that's how you do it. Was like scrap a little bit helps during these times um a link below for my amazon affiliate links for those different bearings that you have in case you just happen to lose your bearings and don't want to go buy a hub it's 6.99 to o'reilly try to find you about the same for a master pro that's what i bought master pro but any the good ones right or somebody makes one precision whatever i'll find one put them in the links below you can buy in there and deliver your house and have your trailer going up. You're gonna need that day. You're probably gonna need to go find a part and go to O'Reilly or somebody. Um, right here. The one I had to replace too because I had the bigger axle. If you have it, it's probably the same. It's L68149. And the other one was. Hold on. It might come with this one instead, which is an LM6704. That's an 8. I don't know why it's double stamped, but it's an 8. Okay, this is VNC. <laughs> Came with the hub. Same outer diameter, so it fits into the hub, but different inner diameter, so it wouldn't fit over my axle. So that's it. I'll try to find the code for the front uh, bearing, in case that's what you need to replace, because uh, I put it on and didn't read it, and my old one is perfect, but does not say the number. So, yeah, that's it. Hmm? Your mom hmm? pop shirt. My mom pop. America, you know. Uh, as always, I'm RJ. Seize the day each and every day. Bye-bye.